So now we're going to look at installing Mongoose and connecting to the database in our glitch project. And just a reminder, in the last video, we set up an um, Atlas DB account. We created a cluster here. Um, and inside it, we created a database and a collection. And the database is called DB1 in my case. Um, we set, created a new user here with the read and write any database with a password. And in the network access, we set it to 0, 0.0 or whatever um, to allow all IP addresses. But you could just add your own IP addresses here. Then we went here to um, connect and we got this URI that we can use to connect to our database. And the URI looks something like this. So we have the username here, which is user1. And then down here, we had to fill in our password, which sorry, our um, database name, which is DB1. And between after this colon here and before the at sign, we have to put the password in. And in the last video, I put the um, whole URI in as an environment variable, but glitch is so messed up that it doesn't actually accept this and it just always comes up as undefined for me. So what I did was I just put the password in here and I've just made my trick here right now is just to make the password like much longer than this so that it doesn't show the whole thing. So yeah, I just put the I just put the password in here. And then what I've done is in my app.js I've just split up the URI and then I put the process.env.pass like pw for the password and I've just merged it into the string. So that's my workaround for this I guess until they fix it. So in this one what they want us to do is add um or install MongoDB and Mongoose to this. And so the first thing we need to do is just have a look at the package.json. And if you imported the boilerplate project, like we did again in the introduction video, so that's the one to check out. Um, we can see that Mongoose has already been imported here. So all we need to do is install um, MongoDB. So just have a quick look for MongoDB NPM and just make sure you get the correct package name. So yeah, this is MongoDB, just call MongoDB. Um, so copy that and you wanna just uh, open up the terminal in tools and it usually does take a while to start. So just be patient. So the installation process is just very simple. Um, you can manually add it into the package.json or you can just do what I'm gonna do here and just do npm install and then mongodb like this. And it'll take a while, but it will install it for us. So we just have to wait for this to happen. Okay, so this has been added. So it'll say like added 11 packages and it's added version 3.5.9. So if we look at um, package.json, we can see that it's not here, but I think it's because it was added as part of Mongoose anyway, like as a dependency. Um, so it doesn't explicitly show up here, but you do have to install it because it doesn't work if you don't. So the next thing to do is um, we need to, we've done this in the, in the introduction video. Um, we need to, uh, surrounded by quotes, which I've just done, um, here like I explained um, but we also have to uh, require um, mongoose before we can start connecting to it because this is mongoose.connect but if you try to do that without importing it um, it'll come up with an error saying mongoose is not defined so it even says here we have to require mongoose so the way we do that is we'll just say um, let mongoose equals and then do require like this and inside it just put the package name which is just mongoose and if you're not sure what the package name is just have a look here you can see it's just mongoose so we have mongoose now then we what we want to do is we want to just connect it so we just want to copy this right here um, and then paste it into here and we want to change your URI to this URI right here so save that um, then go to tools and then logs and then clear this and just uh, wait for just do some like make like a minor change like this and just save it and um, wait for it to just check again and it, make sure there's no errors flagging up here so then we're just going to share it so I'm just going to um, one second I'm just going to make this um, public again so we can share it so we just want to click share and then live app copy this and just paste it into here and submit it. 
and that should hopefully work. It is a little bit bugged, so just maybe give it a few attempts.